Okay, this video is going to be directed to all parents, um, kind of every, everywhere, and um, we're living through some extraordinary times with school closings and lockdowns and etc. Um, so hopefully this video, of course, the title of it is how to help your kids learn from uh, learn math at home or your child learn math from home. I'm going to be leaving you with three main ideas here, but let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I uh, taught middle and high school mathematics uh, many years uh, in the classroom. I'm a parent myself, so I know what it's like to have a, a child in elementary school, middle school, high school, college. So I, I get it on multiple different levels. But for many years, uh, our, my uh, tablet class math program has helped people uh, learn online, distance learning. So this is really what I've been involved in. Primarily middle school, high school math and test preparation is uh, kind of like where our focus is at. So I've been doing this for a long, long time. And um, a lot of you out there have been, you know, great parents doing what you're doing, uh, you know, dropping your kids off at school, you know, supporting them when they get home. But now you're fi you find yourself in an extraordinary situation. So everyone is going through an adjustment process, including the schools, because the schools have to quickly organize kind of how to do this. So my first point here, I'm going to leave you with three main ideas here. We'll kind of uh, uncover these one at a time, is to uh, basically don't just rely on the school. You're going to have to take uh, complete responsibility to really, you know, manage this whole process. So obviously you're going to have to listen to your, your school and the teachers, etc. But you, we know we're in new times here, but you as a parent, luckily, if you um, have internet connection, there's a lot you can do. So there is uh, hope uh, during these times. So let's go ahead and start. By the way, it, um, I do have complete math programs, all pre-algebra, algebra and geometry, all that to complete full curriculums, a wide variety of things. Uh, you can find me at tabletclass.com uh, and I'll leave you some more information at the end of this video. But let's get to uh, these main points. So some of these things you may already know, but if you don't, I'm going to stress them because these are really, really important routines or uh, sorry, important concepts. So the first is you got to create a routine. And what I mean by that is like a written schedule, a written schedule. So um, a time, wake up at this time, uh, this subject at this time, for this long, one hour, etc. I would suggest in terms of learning mathematics, uh, of course, you're going to have to ultimately uh, go with what your teacher and school is recommending but my suggestion would be you know middle and high school math uh, mathematics you're probably looking at um, at least a half hour but more like 45 minutes to an hour per day that would be kind of comparable to what they would be doing in school maybe even a little bit more if you're talking about a high school class but anyways get with get you know uh, I would suggest you the parent collect information from the te your teachers in school and see what their guidelines are because your your uh, children may have to join like a webinar or you know get organized but whatever you once you got all that information create a schedule that keeps your 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 children uh, busy busy excuse me um, now if you have like a whiteboard or uh, something a chalkboard or something you can post this up you should create checklists also for your children that's kind of a good way of doing it so like okay did you do this boom have them check it off you don't do it because that keeps them actively involved and kind of somewhat accountable okay I did this I did this I did this now another thing that's an excellent way to keep your child accountable in a particular routine is notes okay notes are the proof <laughs> if you will uh, or your homework you have to have evidence that your child has done something do not trust your children oh yeah I did this oh yeah yeah I did that now of course I'm using that term lightly but for my own son I had to chase him around in high school I would stress him especially like for me being a teacher of course for some reason, even maybe if I look back at my own uh, young years with my parents, you know, we don't like to listen to our parents. So don't don't just take your, your children's word that, oh, yes, I did this, I did that. Hold them accountable. Say, okay, say, show me your notes. Where's your notes? Get organized and, show, and, and you, you can keep your child on a strict kind of routine. You know, even if you're not there, 
you know, you need to lay it out so you can kind of have a, a accountability for it. And I would also do this by days. So let's say on 320, whatever date that is, you did this. On 321, you did this. And you can kind of keep a journal or a logbook of, of what's going on. And of course, this is going to be a lot more work for you, but have your child kind of like teach them how to kind of do this because you got a lot going on. Like you have a lot to handle. Your child also, you know, everyone's adjusting to this, but but they're going to have to kind of step up as well and take some accountability for um, their education. So teach them, monitor how they're, you know, what they're doing, and then kind of, in, in my opinion, you know, insist on, uh, you know, have them be a part of this process and hopefully if they're mature enough to actually kind of do it on their own but look for evidence look at their notes let me see your notes let me see your homework let me see all of this okay so enough on that let's move to the second uh, big uh, idea here and that is stay in communication with uh, the teachers and the school so things could be changing rapidly uh, so whether it's social media Facebook uh, page figure out um, uh, the best ways to stay communicated uh, to communicate with your school and what they're recommending uh, so in your email for example I would just create an email folder you know math teacher or teachers whatever the case is so if you're if you're pretty good with email you can create various folders or social media um, you know links just get yourself organized of course if you have um, you know stronger you know uh, technical skills this would be easier but even if you don't you know get the information phone numbers or whatever the case is and you're gonna have to kind of stay in communication the best you can okay you're obviously extremely busy uh, but you know I would say at a minimum you got to be checking in at least every few days at least to see if there's any emails uh, maybe more frequently but uh, certainly no no less than uh, you know you can't let a couple weeks go by you got to be you know staying uh, like up to date on on what's going on and and don't feel shy to ask questions you know try to your, your teachers obviously going to be uh, very swamped but if you're not sure you know read through and then send send emails uh, to the teacher you know get in communication communication is a two-way street so it's not just you listening to the school this way and the teachers you know if you have questions get in communication so there's no confusion all right so let's go ahead and talk about the last main idea here and I strongly suggest okay if you feel the need all right and, and this is going to be a case-by-case -case basis and, and this is uh, everyone's situation is different uh, use an online math program to help something like say my program okay would be a great supplement now I actually have many many uh, thousands of people that um, homeschool full curriculum complete education with our program we work with charter schools we work with public schools um, we work with college students all types of folks now of course it would be great if you're interested in, in uh, my program you can check us out at uh, tabletclass.com now yeah some of you might say oh this is a, a pitch for uh, you know um, you know my program well honestly you know I, I just like you I never saw the you know I never thought something like you know what's happening could occur uh, but I did have you know the vision years and years ago about using technology to be able to help people learn independently and I've worked really really hard about that and now tons of people are in this situation where you know they're, they've kind of become somewhat independent learners um, so yes I want to get you know what I've done out there um, as to, to, to help people so you can take a look at like my system but there's other systems out there you know uh, but don't feel shy just in other words don't if you can okay uh, look for additional resources now luckily you know there's a lot of uh, great resources out there uh, some are free some are membership type of deals it's, uh, it's a wide a variety of them my suggestion is uh, get to get a program that your child like likes and understands okay so uh, you can kind of go and, and sample some video instruction and if they don't like the program but you like it that's not going to really work you can't force a program on your child I mean you can but 
typically, you know, it's the, the best result. That's not going to create the best results. They're going to be like, uh, you know, they're not going to really want to do it. What you want to do is find something that that they don't mind using, and they're like, okay, this is helpful, and they and and, and are engaged in it. Uh, so they'll use it because if they're not going to use it, then then what's the point, right? So try to find a program that you know uh, that they you think they'll like and understand, and kind of maybe uh, you know ask your child, hey, do you like this? What do you think of this? Now that's like the first thing, Donald. Just because they like it, like it and understand it, you really want to make it make sure that it's kind of like a a legit. Here I'll just kind of put it like this: legit program. In other words. Who's creating the videos? What, you know, is it an actual math teacher? For me, I have a degree in math and a master's degree in education and many, many years teaching uh, actual, you know, in the classroom. So I know how a curriculum is, t is taught. I know how to create a uh, test. I know uh, about um, different learning styles, etc. So you got to be careful and you want to make sure that whatever program you're using is, you know, the it's there's a teacher behind the video and it's comprehensive. So there's programs out there, but you're going to have to take responsibility as a parent to, to find them, to, to kind of weigh those things. And then lastly, I would say that um, try to find, uh, if you do have a, um, if you're going to use some sort of online program to supplement uh, maybe the teacher, uh, you can, the teacher might recommend a particular uh, program, but that's, you know, you can, I would say that shouldn't be the end all be all. Go by your own judgment as well, but just try to make sure that whatever online math program you have, that it kind of aligns to whatever your child's course is. So for example, if your child's taking pre-algebra, you want to find a pre-algebra program, right? I mean, that's kind of makes sense, right? Um, algebra one, and then take a look at how the curriculum ma matches up. So if it's a pre-algebra program that you're, that you're looking to kind of supplement, take a look at the chapters and sections and see how that might uh, align to uh, what your teacher, uh, you know, um, is doing in your child's class. So you don't want to uh, like, you know, use a pre-algebra program that's very different than what your, your child's uh, using. So you're going to have to do a little bit of research, but if you find a good program, you know, this can really be helpful. So for example, my program, it's, you know, we've had many, many years of success when, you know, we've refined it, we're continuing to improve it, where you can get, you know, you can log on and it's pretty much like me teaching your child. They're, they're watching full comprehensive lessons, not little tutorial videos, not like a lesson, not like for five minutes. That's not how school works. Your child doesn't go to school, sit in a classroom, and a teacher doesn't teach for five minutes or, or 10 minutes, and that's it. That's a tutorial. That is not a complete comprehensive, um, you know, education. What a, co a complete comprehensive education looks like is something like what I do is a, a full lesson. Maybe it might be like, say, 20 minutes. Okay, and then we're going to do our homework exercises. In my system, I call those example sets, but I'm going to go through, through video, and demonstrate how uh, many different uh, problems uh, are are solved in this particular uh, topic, and then we're going to move through. So, uh, so again, yes, you know, I think uh, a lot of my system because I've been working on it. My team and I have been working on it for many, many years. Put a lot of effort. Uh, to really try to make it super high quality, but there's other great programs out there as well. So you're going to have to use your own judgment, assess it, and then kind of go from there. But anyways, I hope uh, that uh, this video finds you well uh, during these uh, trying times. Um, I wish you nothing but the best. If you're interested, you want to know a little bit more about uh, my math program, I'll, I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video, but let me go ahead and give you two URLs. And by the way, best way, uh, please feel free to comment. Um, also on my YouTube channel, let me just say one other thing. I literally have like five, uh, maybe close to 600 uh, videos um, and wide variety of math videos. I'm always posting. So if you like my teaching style, there's a ton of stuff that your, your, your child can learn um, from me just by just subscribing to my YouTube channel or just taking a look at my, my video playlist. Um, so that's a, a great resource. But um, if you have feedback, you know, please leave it. Um, but if you want to um, get in contact, if you have any questions for me, I'll try to get back to you. Best way to do that is to come to our site. If you go to tablet class, uh, tabletclass.com, it'll redirect you to our new uh, uh, URL, or our new site, which is TC Math Academy. I know I'm kind of scribbling, but I'll leave the link again. 
tcmathacademy.com, tcmathacademy.com. There you'll see our, our website, our courses, and if you have questions, our contact page, and then we'll try to uh, answer the best as possible. Um, of course, you know, at this time, we're all, you know, in this together, but I wish you nothing but the very best but but I also want to leave you with a message of hope when it comes to educating your child's education um, that you can absolutely if you get organized uh, quickly uh, you can your child doesn't have to suffer you know in terms of their education you can you they can they can do it really really well it's an adjustment but if you kind of learn and you kind of you know uh, follow some of the advice uh, advice that uh, I've given you believe me when things get back to normal they they won't they 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 may not have have to have missed a beat you know in their educational development in terms of mathematics however if you kind of just let it just kind of be like mm, kind of just uh hopefully you're kind of trusting that they're just kind of doing what they're doing you know, unfortunately, uh, from my perspective, that's not going to be enough. You're going to have to get involved if you really, really, uh, you know, want to have that insurance policy that, hey, you know, uh, that you don't want your child's education to slip. You know, you want it to be continuous and you can do that, but you're really going to have to, you know, do a lot of extra work, and a lot of things that you haven't uh, done before. And of course, we're all in that same situation. So I wish you nothing but the best. Uh, be well, stay safe, and thank you for your time, and have a great day.